All right, good morning, everybody. High blood pressure is often referred to as the silent killer, and that's because most people who suffer from the condition don't show any symptoms. If left untreated, high blood pressure could lead to deadly heart problems, including heart attacks and strokes. But as CSV 11 Stephanie Ascoville explains, doctors are finding new ways to better regulate the illness. Almost 50% of individuals over the age of 40 will be classified to have hypertension, high blood pressure, or will develop high blood pressure. Dr. Jay Mehta, a distinguished professor with the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, says that number spiked with the new hypertension diagnosis guidelines released in 2017 by the American Heart Association. The new criteria considers the blood pressure of 120 over 80 or higher as the first stage of hypertension. It was estimated that if we adopt HAACC guidelines, then we will have 10 million more patients to be treated. One ethnic group affected the most. Especially in the African-American population, the incidence of hypertension is much higher, and they tend to have more complications, especially strokes. And although high blood pressure may not cause any symptoms, the condition can have a serious toll on one's body. High blood pressure or high numbers are associated definitely with increased cardiovascular events. Those events include heart attacks and strokes. Both can be deadly. Fortunately, Dr. Mehta says doctors are finding more effective ways to regulate the condition. We are learning, for example, the use of two medications to start with is much more effective in controlling blood pressure than one medicine alone and maybe combination of calcium blockers and ACE inhibitors may be a better option. Doctors say aside from medications, various lifestyle changes can also help lower blood pressure, including weight loss, a better diet, increased exercise, and believe it or not, meditation. Recently we are learning that um, some other lifestyle modifications like mindfulness or yoga, you can lower your blood pressure quite significantly. But Dr. Mehta says the most important practice when it comes to high blood pressure is being proactive by detecting the condition in time. I suggest everybody over the age of 18 to once in a while check your blood pressure. If you go to the malls, Walmart, Kroger, uh, in the malls, there are blood pressure machines. And what may seem like a silly task could end up saving your life. In Little Rock, Stephanie Esquivel, THV 11 News.